In this video, I'm going to talk about the labor market of monopsony and calculate the dead weight loss. So the supply of labor is given by the wage equals 5 plus 1 half L, units of labor. The demand for labor is given by wage equals 45 minus 1.5 times units of labor. First, we're going to calculate the competitive outcome. Uh, competitive outcome simply occurs where the supply curve intersects a demand curve. So we can just set both of these equations equal to one another and solve for L. So collecting our L terms, adding 1.5L to both sides, we get 2L. Subtracting 5 from both sides, 45 minus 5 is 40. And then dividing through by 2, the equilibrium quantity of labor in a competitive labor market is 20. We're going to take this 20 and plug it back into either the supply or demand equation. Here I plug it back into the supply equation and see that the wage is $15 equilibrium wage. If we plug 20 back into the demand equation, we would get the same result. Now we're going to do the monopsony outcome. Uh, the monopsony outcome, a key thing here is to get the marginal cost of labor, MC subscript L. And the simple shortcut method of getting the marginal cost of labor is to look at the supply of labor equation and just take the slope of it and multiply it by 2. So the 5, that is exactly the same. Uh, but the 0 0.5 here, if we multiply that by 2, it's just 1. So the marginal cost of labor looks like the supply of labor equation with a slope that is uh, two times uh, two times as steep. Next thing we do, we take that marginal cost of labor, and the next thing we do is we take that marginal cost of labor, and we see where it intersects the labor demand curve. So we're going to set uh, 5 plus L equal to 45 minus 1.5 L. Going to collect the L terms here, so adding 1.5 L to both sides, we're going to get 2.5 L. And then subtracting 5 from both sides, we get this result. Dividing through by 2.5, the monopsony outcome is 16 units of labor, which will be less than the competitive outcome. And now to get the wage, we're going to take this 16, and very important here, we will plug it back into the supply of labor. We don't want to plug it back into the demand for labor or the marginal cost of labor. We only want to plug it back into the supply of labor. And here, if we do that, we get a wage of $13. If you were to plug this back into... Uh, the demand for labor, the marginal cost of labor, you would get a wage that exceeds the competitive outcome. Okay, and just intuitively, uh, what does a monopsony do? A monopsony restricts hiring to keep wages low. All right, so that is our monopsony outcome. So we want to get the dead weight loss. So moving on, just writing our key results here, or our key equations, I should say. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to graph these three equations. So let, let's start with the demand for labor. It has a vertical intercept of 45, okay? And it will have a, a horizontal intercept of 30 uh, if W is 0. And if we're to solve for L, 45 divided by, uh, by 1.5 is 30. So that's where the horizontal intercept is coming from. And then the supply of labor. Uh, supply of labor has a vertical intercept of 5, and it has a slope of 1 half L. What we found uh, for the competitive outcome is that the supply of labor intersected the demand for labor at a wage of 15 and 20 units of labor. Okay, so here's the competitive outcome, the supply of labor intersecting the demand for labor at a wage of 15 and a... L equal to 20. To get the monopsony outcome, what we found was we, f we solved for the marginal cost of labor, and we found where it intersected demand. That occurred at L equals 16. We took that L equals 16, and we plugged it into the supply equation, and that's where the wage of 13 came into uh, being. So the competitive outcome, the monopsony outcome.
in terms of the dead weight loss, uh, the dead weight loss is going to be this triangle right here, uh, the difference between the demand curve and the supply curve between 16 and 20 units of labor. So we're going to calculate the area of that triangle using one half base times height. The, the base of this triangle is just 20 minus 16. And the height of this triangle is 21 minus 13. Uh, this 21, uh, I didn't solve for it in the previous slide, but all I do here to get this 21 is I plug this 16 back into either marginal cost of labor or the demand curve. And in that case, the, the, the dollar amount, the wage was 21. So simplifying this, we get a deadweight loss of $16. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.